what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about chucky season three part two's finale we'll be talking about happy death day three we'll be talking about buffy the vampire slayer maxine and this movie called companion so i want to actually start this off by talking about companion because companion is a sci-fi thriller drew hancock is releasing very or it's directed by drew hancock it's releasing very soon Plot details have been kept under wraps. I've talked about it on my channel at least one other time. And I just want to refresh you guys by telling you that this movie is revolving around this girl, Iris, played by Sophie Thatcher. Her other friends played by Jack Quaid, Lucas Gage, and another person. I forgot their name. But Iris and her friends go to this lakeside estate of a billionaire. And after he dies, it sets off a chain of events for them for the rest of their duration at this lakeside estate. Now, I want to say there is a very, very, very big twist in Companion that is revealed maybe 30 minutes in, I'm hearing. And depending on how the marketing is going, they can do a great job at keeping everybody not or keeping this a surprise for everyone. But I really have a hunch because of what the twist is that they're going to try to put this into the marketing and just use that as a way to get people into the theater, because I think without it it could end up not boding well for the film's box office return. I, I just feel like they're going to use this twist, even though I wish it could be kept a secret. There's a, I'm going to leave it a secret, but I just want to inform you guys, there's a very big twist about Sophie's character in Companion that completely flips the whole narrative of the film. So now that we're done talking about that, oh, actually, I think the film was also recently rated R as well. So hopefully Companion will have a release date announced sooner rather than later. But shifting gears and now talking about the Chucky season three part two finale. So the Chucky finale twist or some of the twist in it surfaced online yesterday. Two out of several that are on the way this week from what I've heard. Anyway, Dread Central attached the wrong interview to an article that was about the trio and it started a fire for a minute before it got corrected. Now, this happened on Monday, not yesterday but it was on monday because today is actually wednesday mancini ended up revealing two major things that happened to devin or not devin to jake during the finale well two major things that happened to jake one other major thing is happening to devin and jake but for those who missed it you'll find out what that is this wednesday later tonight and one of them does indeed tie into why i do not like how the trio is left during this season i chalk it up to me just being tired of the shock value writing that is going off the rails with a decision like this for these characters mancini also seems really excited for season four during this interview but no official renewal announcement has been made yet it could always appear after wednesday's episode we'll just have to wait and see does anyone else look back on season three so far and just think wow the trio could have been left out if this is all we're going to do with them i mean honestly the trio feels very squandered this season in comparison to the last seasons um so hopefully with season four having all these stars excited about it, hopefully things have been amped up for these characters. But again, going off of what happens in the finale doesn't really bode well or get me excited about what's to come for the trio. Jumping into Happy Death Day 3. So Jessica Roth talked about Happy Death Day to us with Screen Geek recently saying, well, I can say Chris Landon has the whole thing figured out. We just need to wait for Blumhouse and Universal to get their ducks in a row. But my fingers are so crossed. I think Tree deserves her third and final chapter to bring that incredible character and franchise to a close or a new beginning. Now, I don't see those ducks getting into a role anytime soon, but I'm down for a third Happy Death Day. I realize two was a letdown for some, but that doesn't mean that three can't restore whatever love the first movie gave you. Two had way more comedy in it, but also that scene with Tree's mom is great and really heartfelt. Jessica Ross' performance makes the reality of that scene so sad and bittersweet since we know a lot of that mean girl crap was just tied to a girl who misses her mother. We've also been hearing talks of a freaky death day, a crossover with freaky and happy death day. But with nothing but hopeful thinking updates like this constantly coming out related to these projects, more than greenlit announcements, I wouldn't hold my breath for this project or crossover right now, but hopefully Happy Death Day 3 can find life at some point in the near future. Now we're going to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So Sarah Michelle Gellar gave a brief comment to US Magazine about a return to Buffy. She said, I mean, like if Dolly Parton is going to call me, I'm always available to, to take a phone call 
from the Queen. Now, remember Dolly Parton told us earlier this year that the revival was still in development and it's been cricket since then, like it has been cricket since the show was announced back in what, 2018? In respect to Sarah's comments, I'd be fine if she came back as Buffy, but she also shares the same sentiments as me and others, which is that Buffy's story doesn't need to be the one leading this revival, especially after the events of Chosen. I'd rather see a new Slayer story that can build to a meaningful storyline that calls for the return of Buffy Summers to help defeat whatever big bad is causing trouble. All of Buffy's story throughout the entire duration of that show seemingly came down to someone who was just tired of having the weight of the world on her shoulders she's finally been freed of that with the stakes or with the decision making done and chosen the series finale so to go back to her and pretend like she's the, still the person with the weight of the world on her shoulders it feels like a slap in the face to what her and willow and everybody else did in that finale just tell a story that's carried by another slayer show us the world is not on buffy summer's back anymore and somehow figure out a way to factor Buffy Summers into the story in a coherent way. That's all you have to do. And let someone else who's been activated post-chosen carry this story. You can even do an anthology show. So we'll see what happens with this Buffy revival or reboot since it has yet to actually be canceled. It's just been announced as being on pause. Then Dolly Parton recently this year again told us that they are still having that project in development. So Last thing we're going to talk about here is Maxine. So Maxine released this image yesterday. I think it came out via USA Today. And this is an image of Maxine Minx when what I can only assume is her on set of her film directed by Elizabeth Debicki's character. So she, this I'm assuming is her starring in The Puritan 2. I don't see what else this could be for. This has to be her on set of that movie, The Puritan 2, shooting a scene, maybe doing some promotional images for the movie in the movie which is pretty ironic since this image itself is a promotional movie for Maxine. We'll just have to wait and see, but I thought this was a pretty cool image to have released to get us hype for Maxine, which is to drop on July 5th. I believe the film has also recently been rated R, so we're getting very close to Maxine. I know a lot of you are excited about the project. I myself am excited about the project. I've been hyping you guys up about the project, telling you things that have been slowly getting confirmed, such as the fact that now you know it's 100% of who done it because an official synopsis has came out referencing the fact that there's a killer running around not that the trailer didn't make it obvious but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications you can never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video